welcome to the what we call the ops room. This is where all of the magic happens with all of the computers and the data and the databases. And the sort of things that we do in here, we bring in the survey data from the field, so all of the GPS data which gets recorded out in the field brings us the locations of, for instance, the musket balls or all of the finds. It all gets downloaded into these computers in here and then we can basically overlay all of that information, see where everything is spatially and see if we can start finding patterns in, for instance, musket ball scatter or we can plot where the old buildings would have been so that we can put new trenches to try and, try and find some evidence of them. So this here is what's known as a GPS base station and what that's doing, it's sitting there uh, and it's talking to about 15 or 20 satellites who are orbiting the Earth and each one of those is sending it positional information so it knows exactly where it is in the world. That sends signals to the guys who are walking about with the big sticks and that's how we know exactly where their sticks are when they take a GPS shot. I'm Cornelius from LP Archaeology and I'm here doing the surveying of the metal detected finds and also um, shooting in the trenches and levels and everything else that anybody might need. I'm Mike Johnson, I'm a digital specialist at LP Archaeology and I'm here helping survey in the finds from the metal detectorists. We are surveying in the metal detected finds, mostly musket balls but lots of other things too. So this one is a musket ball, uh, it's find number 143 although they haven't all been musket balls. I am recording its exact position, its latitude and longitude and height above sea level um, using this piece of equipment here. Although we've got very high visibility jackets on and we can be seen from everywhere, we're actually kind of unseen. Everyone's doing all of the cool archaeology and what we're doing is just recording what they're doing. Uh, and so we have to be everywhere at all times. If people want photos, if people want their trenches located, if people want their metal detector finds shot in, we have to be doing everything, which means we walk about four or five times as much as anyone else on site, I think. And you can feel it at the end of the day, that's for sure. We were just downloading some of the points from the surveying stick and then overlaying them on the historic mats and it's looking very, very nice. There's some clear patterning of musket balls, clear patterning of other kind of Napoleonic era metal work, which is definitely demonstrating the battle going on in the woods just over here and then just at the edge of the woods just as we're coming into this, this bit which we're doing now. So, um, good results and being able to do it in the field like that with a couple of laptops is great. Yeah, we can see it straight away. 